Hello friends, I, Surbhi Mathur, working as an assistant professor in Biani Institute of Science and Management, welcome you all on the behalf of GuruKPO.com. My subject is human resource and today I am going to deliver a lecture on human resource procurement. As the topic says, human resource procurement. So first, we would be better clear about the term that is human resource. As we all know, in today's era, human resource is the biggest asset in any organization. And if we have to precisely define the human resource, it means the people who are at work. So first, we start with the framework of human resource procurement. And moving ahead, I would like to reiterate my words of human resource procurement. It, the basic definition says, procurement means obtaining something. And when we are saying human resource procurement, it means we are obtaining or we are ensuring the human resource in the organization. So human resource procurement, it means obtaining and ensuring right number and the kind of manpower in organization. So how we go about that, that is going to discuss in the today's lecture. My topic is framework for human resource procurement. Framework means process of human resource procurement. If any organization wants to recruit an individual, that how the organization start from. So first we are going to start with the human resource planning. As the word says, it is a planning of human resource. First we have to know how much employees and how in what quantity we required in every department. So that is known as employee requisition. This is a form that has been sent by the different departments to the human resource department, which states how much employees they are requiring in organization. Second, we move to the recruitment. Now first we have clear with the number of people requirement, then we initiate with our recruitment process. Recruitment process is what? It is all about the applicants. We are inviting the applications into the organization for generating the pool of applicants. Then we move to job analysis. What the job analysis says? Job analysis, it means collecting information about the job. We have done the requisition. We know how many people we required. We have sent the people or we have invited the applications to the various sources. But the latest step is we should know for what job we are doing the recruitment. And that is job analysis. Job analysis in simple terms is collecting information about a particular job. And that comprise job description. That means what are the duties and responsibilities of an individual in a particular job. That means that describes a job. And second part of job analysis is job specification. Job specification means we have specified what education qualification we require in an individual. Suppose if I am hiring a person for a manager post, I would definitely go with a person who is carrying experience of 10 plus 2. So this is a job specification where I have specified that I require an individual who is carrying a 10 plus 2 experience or 10 plus more years. When we have done with the requisition, recruitment and the analysis, then we move to the various screening devices. Once an individual enter into the organization, we have various screening tools for an individual. An individual has to go through with the test. There are various type of tests conducted in the organization. Like we have aptitude test that test how much individual quick to learn the things. We do have knowledge test that basically check the subject knowledge of an individual. Second, we have the interview. Although if an individual go through with the test or clear in the test, then only he or she can qualify for the next phase. Interview doesn't mean face to face interaction, not any one to one interaction. It also means when a person in a group conducting the interview. Sometimes interview doesn't have the more time. So what he or she do, they sit main the major kind of applicants and they'll take the group interview. In order to test the stress scope of ability of an individual, sometimes organization may also conduct stress interviews. So these are the various types of interviews that are prevalent in nowadays organization. And final stage is the employment. When we know that an individual is qualified with the interview, with the test, then there is a final employment decision. Final employment means giving the offer letter to the individual and a induction program is going on. Induction simple means making an individual familiar with the organizational culture, making an individual familiar with the organizational policies, 
individual at least should know for what type of job he or she has get selected. So for that individual needs to get familiarized because induction is the only first impression that the company creates on an individual. By the way, they greet the employee and by the way, they treat the employee. So in concluding my words, I would just like to say that in today's scenario, human resources are the biggest asset in any organization. And creativity is the biggest asset of the human resource. And I must say, without creativity, there would be no progress. And if there would be no progress, then we would might end up with repeating the same patterns again and again. So organizations need to survive for the people and by the people. Thank you, thank you and thank you. For further details, kindly log on to our website www.gurukpo.com.